A veterinary research center was created at the Warsaw University of Life Sciences. It is a complex of laboratories equipped with the most modern apparatus. The WULS SGGW Veterinary Center will conduct research with the aim of solving the problems that are currently important in the field of biomedical and medical veterinary applied sciences. The center was ceremonially opened by Professor Aloysius Szymański, the rector of the WULS SGGW, Marek Savitsky, PhD, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Professor Marian Binek, the Dean of the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, and Professor Zdzisław Gajewski, the head of the Department of Large Animal Diseases with Clinic and the project manager of the Apparatus Veterinary Research Center. Professor Alonso Szymański, director of the WLS SGGW, during the opening ceremony expressed his satisfaction with the fact that at our university another modern research center has been created. He stressed that the Warsaw University of Life Sciences has for many years ensured the development of laboratories and infrastructure with great care, thanks to which it is a good potential partner for international research units. Our university, taking into account its history, which dates back two centuries, is growing rapidly. Today, the university has grown to a great life sciences university and successfully competes with the leading universities in Europe in the area of research and results. My heart rejoices today because the Veterinary Research Center is created. The center already cooperates on joint research with medical universities in this country. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Marek Savitsky, expressed in his speech his appreciation for our university and emphasized its importance in national higher education. What I especially enjoy and what is important for me is that the Warsaw University of Life Sciences for many years has become an indicator of progress and development. If we compare the most important universities in Warsaw, they look at the Warsaw University of Life Sciences with great jealousy. Thus, I am pleased that in this institution, in the capital of Poland today, we can show the world another research and education center. Professor Marian Binek, the Dean of the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, stressed in his speech that innovation depends on good technical support and expressed the hope that the WLS SGW Veterinary Research, as the most modern complex of laboratories, will contribute to great discoveries in the field of veterinary science. Knowledge is nowadays as valuable as money. In today's world, it is not production that is the most profitable part of business, but rather coming up with products, organizing and financing the production, marketing and after-sales service, which are based on knowledge or are the result of knowledge. Knowledge and development is in turn the outcome of research. Veterinary science is experimental science and its development needs adequate technical facilities. Opening the Veterinary Research Center at the Department of Large Animal Diseases with Clinic, we get to the global level of the possibilities of research and teaching focused on the team of employees. I wish you, Professor Gajewski, that you create a brand known in Poland and in the world. The center is designed for scientific, research and teaching purposes. We are located in the operating room for video surgery treatment, that is, a mini-invasive surgery. Here research on reproduction physiology, physiology of the digestive tract, physiology and pathophysiology of other systems is conducted. The next stand is on research in neurosurgery within the brain and within the spine. In the next room there is laparoscopy and arthroscopy apparatus. Next, we have a whole set of endoscopy of the upper respiratory tract, body cavities, and also studies of bovine mammary gland. 
Next is a nanotechnology and nanoengineering laboratory. This laboratory is equipped with a confocal microscope with a white laser. As a university, we can say that we are the first institution in this area. The following device is a multi-photon microscope, which allows endoscopic tissue penetration. It makes it possible to evaluate what is happening. This lab is also equipped with a laboratory of tissue and cell cultivation. The next room is the histochemistry laboratory, then biotechnological labs for semen testing and dealing with in vitro insemination, the laboratory of clinical and teaching models, the next laboratory is a telemetry in vitro and in vivo lab, the last laboratory is a newborn's lab. Adam Struzik, the Marshal of the Mazowieckie Voivodeship, was also the guest of the ceremony. He stressed the importance of EU funds for the development of the Mazowieckie region. Numerous researchers from Poland and abroad, from universities and institutions cooperating with the WLS SGGW Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, came to the opening ceremony. An important event initiating the activity of the Veterinary Research Center was an international scientific conference which was attended by many guests from foreign and domestic research institutions.